Hello Aries, this is AD with Chaos Tarot and I'm going to be doing your February 2020 reading. So thank you so much for your patience. January has been very slow for me. Like I was sick. I've just been like oh, busy with like really eh, stuff, like not fun stuff. And so, yeah, I do thank you so much for your patience and hanging on in there with me, Aries. So without any further ado, let's get into your reading, all right? And of course I do my spiel a little bit later, but I don't wanna keep you waiting. So let's see what energies we have. Okay, very quickly. <laughs> the chariot, I was like, moving forward, there's a lot of, I just heard angst. There's a lot of want, want, and here we go. There's a lot of want to move forward. It could be traveling. It could be distance. But I think it's in. I think it's everything. I think it's just like, it's this very like, <laughs> like I need to get. I need to move. Like even now, I'm just like I'm out of my seat. Like, <laughs> and I'm a Mars dominant person, so I'm not an Aries. I'm a Venus in Aries, but I am Mars dominant, so I completely resonate with this energy. And that's always just like, if you're on the same vibration as me, is January has just not been. It. It's like 2020 is going to be lit. Everybody's excited about 2020. I'm still excited about 2020, but January was not it. Even that, look at that nine of swords. Yeah, but we have the wheel of fortune. So things are going to be changing and picking up and moving speed, Aries. They're going to meet up to what it is to your expectation and what it is that you're waiting for. We have the king of swords, the hierophant, and the five of cups. Okay, so this happened in the Leo energy too. So um, this could just be like a fire sign thing. You could be somehow going against some masculine energy, particularly a patriarch. This could be, this could be like your child's father or your actual father. Or this could have to deal with some sort of already pre-existing structures that are giving you disappointment. And I feel like the disappointment is because it's holding you back. There's somebody who's very logical. <laughs> Could be an Aquarius, could be a Libra or a Gemini, but there is somebody who I feel is a masculine energy who's being very logical and they're kind of raining on your parade um, with their questions, with their, well, how are you going to get this done and what are you going to do and that doesn't make any sense and how are you going to accomplish this and they're just like, and you're just like, oh gosh, come on, like I just want to move forward, like I can't do anything, you have the four swords and I feel like it's, it's keeping you um, somewhat suspended, but it's their thoughts in their words and it could that's why I'm like they're not really doing necessarily anything that's keeping you hinder but it's like either the thoughts that they taught you so it could be like the religion that you have is restrict is restrictive and they're just like what you're doing will send you to hell so it's more so on an intellectual front where the blockage is coming but I definitely see that being a source of um kind of uh difficulty so we got the Knight of Cups and the Page of Cups to the Nine of Wands, okay? So the Knight of Cups was the first card that came out for me. So this is all about speaking and sharing a, a message and an offer of love. But here's the thing, Aries, it's blocked. Excuse me. I, I, I imagine that there's a lot of... Um, feelings uh, it's not even necessarily passion but it's like i have feelings for somebody i care about somebody but it's guarded it's blocked with that nine of wands there i feel like it's because it's been a slow start there's something in here that has been a slow start and with this yeah this this four of pentacles you've been holding on to it because i feel like you know energetically it's for you it's just not moving at the pace that you would like and it's because of situations it's because of people who are or um, it's because of bureaucracy it could be struggles. So like, let's say for instance, you are in school and you're trying to go through your financial aid and it's taking a long time to go through. It's not because of like somebody's personally holding your money. It's the bureaucracy. It's the process of it all that is being slow. So I'm imagining that some of you, if it's not a patriarch or whatever, you're fighting a process. You're fighting in an already established structure and it's slowing you down. It's hindering you for some reason. But I do see that ending. Oh my gosh. Major scorpionic energy could be a Scorpio involved. Okay. But there is a huge transformation. This the the previous uh, the previously standing tower right here is coming crashing down and it's going to provide a moment for you to completely shift okay and you're gonna have some decisions and some options to make aries the ten of wands so i'm just getting such a confining energy and just a <laughs> i feel like busting loose and i feel like busting loose <laughs> 
<laughs> you just feel like busting loose, but there's not a clear pathway and how to do it. Like, and I, I resonate to this energy so much. It's just kind of like, I know I want to move. I know I want to get started. I know I have all these goals. I know I have all these ambitions, but I don't even know where to put my first foot down to even start. Um, and, and I have an idea, but it's being challenged by other ideas or by a system that previously exists. That's going to be able to change. Look at that. The four of cups to the eight of cups. You're going to be walking away from this feeling of discon discontentment because that's what it is. You're unhappy. You're unsatisfied. These three cups aren't doing it. This fourth cup is meh. That's not doing it either. I don't want it. I don't need it. It's not good enough. It's not good enough. It's not good enough. It's kind of what I've heard. And that's possibly why there could be that's it could be with that um knight of cup and page of cups that was coming through there's an offer of somebody who likes you who cares for you but you see them as immature you don't think that they can keep up with you it's not good enough that could become in the form of jobs that's just not good enough things aren't good enough and so you're just you're you're waiting for that right thing to come along and you know what i, I X that you're not waiting for the right thing to go along you're actually walking away and you're going to go find that ten of cups yourself you're not waiting for anything you've sat long enough i just heard um <laughs> one of my favorite songs isaiah's rashad and it's um it's cousin it's like it's always tell you what you want but people rarely give you what you need and i feel like there's just people been telling you what you wanted and there's been no follow through. There's been no action. There's been no pa -pa 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 -pa, if you will, like there's been no payoff. And so now you're like, well, shit, I got to do it myself. <laughs> <laughs> to the magician you figure out which is an aries card to the queen of wands i can't make i cannot make this up i cannot make it up yeah you're just like i can do this myself <laughs> why am i wasting my time trying to wait for other people to come and help me when i have to do it myself i have all the tools required master manifestors with the queen of wands again this is my <laughs> rihanna card right who is not okay she's a pisces team pisces lover but the rest of her chart, she's an Aries rising. She's an Aries moon. So between you and me, y'all can claim her. Y'all can claim her. But that is an inspiration. And she's done it a lot herself. Like, it's like Fenty Beauty. I'm obsessed with Rihanna. I'm, one day, you know, they say never meet your heroes. So I don't know. But I just, I love her. So if God presents that into my life, I will be so excited. But like, it's the energy of Fenty Beauty. You know what I'm saying? Why just by being like, you know, I can't find my shade. Well, she was just like, I'm going to start my own line where everybody's shade is included, period. Why would I wait? Why would I go talk to, oh, Mary Kay, can you please add sign? Oh, whatever. Can you go please add more makeup? And da -da 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 -da. No, I'm just going to start my own. Why? What am I waiting for you, Cracker Jacks, for? And it's manifesting and it's that power, that grit. I feel like Aries, and this is a really cool energy. And I know I'm talking fast, but that's just because I like, <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> but I'm just getting this energy of like you you have an idea of what it is that you want to do all right and maybe with the eight of swords here you've been very insecure about it in the past or you just let other feelings or things like kind of hinder you moving towards it but that's all shifted and changed or you're finally getting out of these last kind of these last few swords the nine of cups so wish, wish fulfillment. There is progress. I feel like whatever it is, I love this, whatever it is that you want, you want it so much more than your insecurities. You know what I'm saying? Your desire to get what you want is stronger than your insecurities. And that's what I love about fire signs and that's why I you know I'm always so grateful to have fire in my chart and I always recognize fire in other people because that's what separates a lot of like straight air people or water people or earth people the passion and of course I say this and here's your card here with the page of wands it's just like that want that desire that drive will get you to move past your state of insecurity where a lot of people stay swimming and kind of rotating and Aries eventually is going to be like fuck it <laughs> fuck it I'm gonna do it period like there's nothing that's going to stop me um I have this calling to do it so I'm gonna pursue it now and that's why <laughs> I got this calling to do it so I'm gonna pursue it but um I, I just feel like you know, sometimes it can be impulsive or not well thought through. You know, that's why it's the page of wands. But in this case, I think that spirit is telling you, you got to start somewhere. So just start. Don't let, again, th these questions kind of overwhelm you. Ooh, 
So I got the moon and the king of wands and the king of pentacles. Okay, so it looks like we're taking a different direction. I want to make sure. It looks like we're going to be talking about <laughs> some couple energy. I'm getting... There could be a secret admirer, but there's distance between you two. I don't think that you recognize, Aries, how deeply this person feels for you or how deeply this person thinks about you. You can strong Sagittarius energy, okay, particularly strong Sagittarius energy, but it could be another fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, or it could be Scorpio, could be any other sign for that matter. But those are the ones that I'm specifically getting through with Cancer, Scorpio, Sagittarius being the strongest. But that aside... I do feel like there's somebody that you moved away from. There's somebody that you could have possibly walked away from or there's just been a distance. Maybe you're different countries, um, but there's been a feeling of isolation and this person wants to reconcile with the temperance here and then it requires patience. Um, but they have a lot of pa yeah passion for you and they're watching you, Aries. They're watching you from a distance. The hangman, they feel like they can't act. but they want to <laughs> the four of cups this is like uh long term they want marriage i think that's why they're so afraid to come out of the cold because if they do come out the cold and they do and you do re-enter this relationship or if if you for some of you guys this was just an argument with a significant other some of you and i'm calling this now some of you haven't really looked up tarot readings and all the other stuff before and it's your first time here and it could be one or two and if it's you please drop a, um, a comment below but i feel like somebody just had like some sort of altercation with someone maybe that they were in a long distance relationship with and you are new to tarot and spirituality and this video kind of found you to tell you that when this person comes back it's the real deal like they it was um a swelling there was like an argument or something kind of abrupt and then there was a separation and right now they're thinking about you they, they want to come back and at this point whatever happened they want to marry you so when they come back aries um they're not they're, they're coming back full full throttle they need they want it to elevate to the next level who the five of swords that's what i'm saying the knight of pentacles and <laughs> the full guard <laughs> Yep, that's what I'm saying. There was some sort of disagreement. There was some sort of argument. And for some of you guys, this was like, this could be somebody that you were in a long-term relationship with or some sort of, you've had some sort of back and forth. There's been an argument, but slowly but surely, it was good because it made them recognize that like, oh my God, I really care for this person. I really, really care for this person and I want to move towards something stable and have a new beginning. And, and when I come a new beginning, it's going to be a completely new chapter of elevation. Okay. <laughs> Six of wands. Yep. 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 Yep, Aries, pretty clear. There is somebody from a distance who's going to be coming back and it could be spiritual distance physical distance for most of you i think it's physical distance with the three of wands here i feel like this person moved or left in dramatic like i feel like i'm just getting this energy of <laughs> you guys got into an argument right before they went on a trip and like there's it's just it's been weird you're like do i text them like i miss them or whatever but it happened right before some sort of trip or right before some sort of separation long-term separation or it could be short term like two weeks or something and um when they come back they could be coming back with some sort of ring or at least a very real conversation of like you know i don't like leaving and we're not on the best foot i'm i'm ready i'm ready for whatever that next thing is okay so if you had a boo who just took a trip expect for when boo gets back <laughs> that they're going to come back with some sort of surprise seven of swords seven of swords there is some deception that's why i'm like i don't know if you know exactly how deeply this person wants some sort of st stability with you page of pentacles to the strength card could be connecting with the leo or another aries they have a lot of fire too and i feel like that's why even if they're not a fire sun sign they have a lot of fire and passion too and that's why it was it was a, a clash you guys it was a strength of it was a power of wills and probably over something that was very small but it led to something bigger it led to reveal some hidden truths um but the emperor to the sun card 
this is your divine masculine and if you are masculine watches this this is a divine feminine um there's just a problem of not problem it's just like it had to release some sort of ego beautiful though real strong leo energy the nine of swords the judgment card so there's just been and i feel like this is a mutual energy there's been a lot of anxiety from this separation both of you, if you thought that this person was, <laughs> I feel like this person maybe went somewhere with, with nicer weather than you are right now. And you were just like, this person's out in the sun. This person's kicking it. I'm here. I'm upset. I'm angry. <laughs> I'm mad. I wish I could run up on them. And bah, bah, bah. <laughs> All that Mars energy. I understand. Um, but th th it's still causing, it it's mutual. They were not, they haven't been happy on this trip. Even if you see it on Instagram, Snapchat, or whatever, they've been very much thinking about this trip a lot more than you would know. They've been very deceptive in how they feel. And that's why it's going to come back. It's kind of like a shock when they do come back because it's going to be a lot. Like, they're going to be like, I thought about you every day. I wrote you 365 letters for a year. I wrote you every day for a year. <laughs> Type energy. <laughs> yep, three of cups about this reunion. They're nervous about coming back. The three of swords to the hermit. They're really scared that they're going to be rejected from whatever fallout happened. So, I, you know, this is really funny. They might even come back early from the trip and not tell you that they're back. Because they're scared of you. <laughs> they're scared of you. But it's good. They have a lot of love. Like I said, here comes the Empress with the Ace of Cups. Like I said, this is your divine masculine. This is your divine feminine. This is a power couple. And and that's why the, the ego was so... That's why it conflicts so hard. Um, Just because both of you are very strong-willed. But you wouldn't have it any other way. You know what I'm saying? You wouldn't want somebody who just is like, okay, fine. Whatever you say, babe. That would bore you to tears. So this was just a hiccup that you had. But they're very much nervous about coming back but they realized after this after you stood your ground after you weren't having it the way that you've been kind of distant they've been really sad if you if you cut off communication a lot of you cut them off like when you were like when you get back from this trip do not contact me because i don't care <laughs> um i'm certainly getting that strong energy but they love it quite frankly they love it when you're a little spicy they like the, not that they like the drama some of them could but they like the spice they like that you stand on your own two feet they they get off on that and they have so much respect for you um because maybe they were never <laughs> spoken to in that way when you were just like mm, no you're trash and they were like, me trash no one's ever said that to me <laughs> i have to marry her <laughs> you know queen of cups to the eight of wands and I saw the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck earlier. There's a lot of deep passion and emotion here. And they want to communicate that. They want to communicate that to you. But I feel like they're still a little fearful. Because they don't want... <laughs> they don't want smoke. <laughs> they're like, I don't want any smoke. The High Priestess. But they're being called um, to resolve this conflict. And to come to you. So if you're been like, oh, should I contact them? Should I reach out to them? They're being guided to come back to you. Do not continue sitting in your power. Do not cave. Not that I know a lot of you weren't planning on it anyway, but for those little people out there who, you know, have their little Piscean placements or, you know, have their little Cancer placements and they're just like, or their Libra placements who are just like, oh, I, you know, should I go ahead and say something? No, no, you shouldn't. Let this person come to you. They are seeing signs, like they're seeing your name over again. They keep seeing people that look like you. They're just being very, very drawn to your energy to come and resolve this conflict and open up. Ten of Pentacles, Page of Swords. They want stability. They're craving stability. They're confused about how to go about getting it, but that's what they want. And so they're kind of letting spirit, Jesus, take the wheel. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Huh? The Six of Swords, the Lovers, the Nine of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, and I didn't even see it. The Two of Cups. The Two of Cups and the Lovers came out together. Yeah, you're both such independent individuals. But they're being guided, truly, to come towards you. 
they're literally going straight to the lover's card it's it looks like this to me so yeah this is going straight they're being pulled straight to, towards your towards your energy they know that this is the connection that they want they know that this is the connection that they need but what scares them is is how strong you are they love it and they're also scared of it at the same time it's, it's really quite funny um because this person is used to being needed in some way but they see you very much as the nine of pentacles and you probably told them listen boo i don't need you and so now they're like <laughs> Well, what am I supposed to do then? <laughs> you don't need my money. You don't need my attention. You're doing just fine by yourself. How am I supposed to come in and offer you the stability when you just told me that you don't want it, but now I really want to give it to you. You know, it's that male thing. But they see you as very strong and independent, and that's what makes them nervous because they know that any at any moment you could actually walk up and, and, and leave them. So it's a pride thing. And, and they probably dealt with clingier, needier women in the past. Um, or yeah, they've just dealt with a different type of energy in the past. And so they're having to readjust for some of these people could be connecting with somebody with some strong Capricorn placement too. They focus on work. They, they're very much, um, goal oriented, especially with that emperor card too. And so they could run their own business and all the other stuff. Maybe that's why they're traveling for business. I feel like this person is successful. I feel like this person has money. Um, but they might have more than you, but you but you can stand on your own two feet, if that makes sense. Um, but I feel like they've chosen work in other aspects in the relationship. And it's always kind of bitten them in the butt. And perhaps that's what happened in the past. And they've been pulled to like not do that this time. Yep, the Ten of Swords. So that's closing that cycle, that old pattern. They escape into work. Yep, the Two of, the two of Swords. They escape into work because they're scared of rejection. So they're just like, well, I'm just going to work my way through it. And then if that person is there on the other side, then like, great. If they're not, then so be it. Like, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not, I'd rather chase, i chase a check before i chase a <laughs> biatch. You know what I'm saying? And they're very much like that, but they, they, they got the wrong one. They got the wrong one. So you got Ace of Swords. Yep. To the Three of Pentacles, to the Seven of Cups. There's something here about work that they need some sort of enlightenment on. And that's been taking a lot of their attention, the Four of Swords. They've been needing to meditate and kind of take a break. <laughs> and I feel like this is for every, I feel like this is kind of getting back into mutual energy and kind of going back to you. This is balance and healing if I've ever seen it in a freaking reading. There are things that have to happen, that have to settle, that have to present themselves from the universe with the star card here and the justice card here. Karma, fate, destiny is at work to bring balance in the situation. So there is a need to meditate. So I, <laughs> I know that this can completely contradicts the energy that you're feeling. I see the, I see the problem. It's just like, but it's in, it's in all, it's all in good times. Four to six weeks is going to be very important. Four to six weeks might be slow. So February might be slow still. But around March, around your birthday, Aries, um, in March, April, things are going to start picking up. You're going to be receiving more recognition and you're going to start receiving some of that karmic justice that you've been waiting to see if it's going to come back. A lot of sixes. Six of cups. Some of you guys could be focusing on childhood traumas and all the other stuff, but this is focusing on a new beginning. It's coming with six weeks. I keep hearing six weeks, seven, seven of wands, six, seven weeks. Yep. The queen of swords to the queen of pentacles. Just remain diligent. Stick to your plan. Remain strong. Strategize, I guess. Um, There's a go, like, you know, it's a restless energy, like I said, but, you know, February, mark your calendars, February 16th to March 6th is, Mercury is going to be in retrograde, and so that's always not a good time to start new adventures, but it is a good time to look and research and, and make a very practical plan moving forward. It's not like, oh, put everything on halt, but really look at the details of things. That could probably be the fight against the bureaucracy that I was talking about before, like if you're looking for legal issues or legal trouble. So perhaps you're trying to make an LLC of some sort and like you just keep running into obstacles, keeps being one thing. Just keep the your eyes on the prize. Keep moving forward. It will balance out. Give it time. Do not rush it. 
um i feel like as long as your feet are moving then you'll be happier area so just keep that in mind all right and then the last two cards that we have is the king of cups and the devil so i'm getting strong again some of you guys are connecting strongly with a, with a scorpio and i just heard capricorn could be a pisces or a cancer but um i'm getting strong scorpionic energy but this is all about this connection is a strain so in the meantime while this person is energetically figuring it out you be working on your paper, your coins, and your strategy for your success as if this person was not going to help, okay? As if this person was not going to come through and help because they are. This person is an emperor. They have money. They want to help support. You know, you got the Ten of Pentacles here. I'm seeing it again peeking through. So this is one of those relationships that is going to be built on trust and understanding. But y'all's connection is so connected right now that you're going to have to be careful and be aware that you're not picking up on their energy because they are energetically kind of in this bind and in this stress so some of those anxieties that you could be picking up on might not be your own um so just be aware and be diligent of that with the devil card here but there's a lot of passion coming from this person and like i said they're keeping a lot of their feelings hidden i do feel like it's going to become it's going to come to the forefront but in the meantime let them work on it do not don't I don't even say I, like and I'm, I rarely give this specific of advice, but I really don't think that it will do you any good to reach out to them at this point in time. I really think that your silence is key in order to let this person really desire you and long for you. OK, there's, you know, not in a scary way, but there's a want to control and possess you and, and like get this situation, which is like I can't be tamed and you won't. And they love that. And that's exactly why they like you, you know, so you just got to let them kind of fight through this energetically but if you remain in your power and you remain strong and you focus on what you got going to Aries then <laughs> they'll come crawling if you know eventually but yeah really really tight energy I love it I love it so that's what I got for you for February Aries so a lot happening um in the meantime, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Let, you know, let me know if this reading resonates resonates with you in the comment section. And please don't forget to check out that description box below and information on how to book a personal reading with me. And follow me on Instagram. I've been advertising my Instagram. Instagram has not been friendly with me, but I'm going to figure Instagram out. So you can be you know, a part of the first people who get to see it and kind of grow it with me, or you, you can wait till it's done. I, I won't, I will not take it personally. All right. So we got come to the edge and clean it up. There's some shop that has to be taken care of. It goes back to that. There's just some process that's hindering you from moving forward, even though you have all this energy. Don't try to escape it. Just go ahead and be mature and deal with it. And with this come to the edge, there could be some risk taking. And for some of you, it's moving. You know, it's it's physically relocating or adjusting, you know, and taking that leap of faith and having to leave some of those. I just heard Southern. So some of you could be from the South, but like leaving some of those comforts behind. Um... But just make sure that everything is squared away. For some of you guys, if you're really starting a business or trying to or trying to manifest something in, in the 3D, you're going to have to be really detail-oriented. And if you are a detail-oriented person, then make sure you get a detail-oriented friend. So your Virgo friends, your Capricorn friends, your ah, Taurus, ah, you know, I'm a Taurus moon, no shade. But Taurus people can be a little bit slow. So I would, if you have any like Virgo friends or Capricorn friends or just people who are really on top of it, then if they can somehow help you, if you're like, hey, can I send it? Can you run this over? Can you look this over? Then don't be afraid to ask for somebody's help. Outsource some of that detail-orientedness because I feel like you're more of the vision visionary in this but it has to be grounded and I don't see that it's grounded right now with this clean it up so if you yourself aren't a grounded person then don't be afraid to seek some sort of help or counsel through this process you don't have to do everything alone who oh, no who knew Aries you don't have to do everything alone <laughs> all right so we got expect powerful change <laughs> don't let the past hold you back confidence is your key to success and your commitment is being tested. So things are going to change. You're not going to be stuck in the cycle forever. Your commitment to you is being tested. Your commitment to spirit, to your faith is being tested. Um, and so you have to remember, conf you have to remain confident in that. And I'm seeing, again, a lot of Leo energy, which is your sister sign. All right. 
Let's get the animal spirit deck and then, woo, woo. Oh my gosh, the card flew. <laughs> Give me a second. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry. So not only did the card fly, somebody called me. So the video ended up <laughs> being cut short for the card to literally be personal choice. <laughs> Which is close your eyes. What animal do you imagine? What strengths are they known for? What wisdom do they share? Embrace these qualities. So you have so much power in this situation, Aries, that you get to choose. So make a choice. That's what I got for you. Thank you so much, Aries, uh, for joining me uh, for this February reading. And I wish you the best of luck. Hold your vision. Stick to it. Let this person come to you. You proved your point. You said what you said. And that's on period. Um, and so I am excited for this next phase. You just let me know. Thank you so much. Peace. Until next time.